Hi guys, JB and Mine out here, and these are my pickups for the month of July. For all my friends in the United States, I hope you had a happy uh, Independence Day. Okay, I had the one console game I bought this month. Uh, I don't buy them that often because they're still kind of expensive. But uh, Wolfenstein, the new order. And uh, I've always loved Wolfenstein. I've played it on the PC for hours and hours on end. It's a blast to play. Haven't really played this one, but I've heard good things about it, so I bought it. And uh, hopefully there'll be more PS4 games out, not uh, PS3 remastered games like uh, The Last of Us, which I thought was overrated on the PS3 and have no interest in buying it on the PS4. And I hope it bombs so that they stop remaster, so that they start issuing new games instead of remastered PS3 games. There's my rant. Okay. Give this uh, video something interesting. Okay. For DS 3DS games, Ben 10 Omniverse, which was apparently popular enough to get Ben 10 Omniverse 2. I figured help pad in my collection. Haven't played it yet. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, based on the TV show. I haven't watched the TV show. Not really interested. It's more for kids. Plus it's got that douchebag uh, Jason Biggs on there who I can't stand. Who's just a total douche. And if you kept up with the news and Google his name and put douchebag next to it, uh, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out why. Okay, Monster 4x4 3D. Scooby-Doo and Looney Tunes Cartoon Universe Adventure. It's apparently a bunch of mini-games. I think uh, this is adapted from a PC game. And they're like WarioWare type games. And usually Looney Tunes usually make some pretty good games. Okay, I bought this because it was only 9 bucks. Green Lantern, Rise of the Manhunters. Uh, the Green Lantern movie, I don't hate it as much as uh, other people have hated it. But I think it's kind of helped ruin Ryan Reynolds' career. I hope he makes a comeback because I really like Ryan Reynolds. Uh, hopefully he'll make some better game or better movies. Uh, I haven't played this game yet, so we'll see. Okay, now for some Game Boy games. I got a couple of Game Boy... You know, I never knew if these black cartridges were Game Boy Color or a mix of Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Anyway, there's the Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 3 and uh, Conker's Pocket Tales, which appears to be some kind of RPG type game. I haven't played very much of it in just so far. Great music, though. You know, very jaunty. Okay. Apparently, uh, Warner Brothers lost the uh, rights, or they lost the rights to, uh, Kemco lost the rights to use uh, Bugs Bunny's trademark from Warner Brothers. So they replaced him with Woody Woodpecker and Crazy Castle 5. And uh, it shows. This actually looks cheaper than the Game Boy versions. So, and I'm not a big fan of Woody Woodpecker anyway, but I like good platformer games. And the Crazy Castle games usually are pretty good platformers. Okay, this is a sequel to one of the most beautiful games for the Game Boy Advance completely. Uh, some of the most beautiful music. Uh, Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Uh, as of about 10 years ago, I got over my uh, fear of uh, sequels. So I started, you know, backtracking on some of the sequels I haven't gotten. But Golden Age, or excuse me, Golden Sun is just, if you got a Game Boy Advance, if you haven't played it yet, it's just a beautiful 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 game. The only thing I really don't like about it are the constant random battles. Uh, if you can get through all that you should be fine. Okay now for some classic Game Boy games. Uh, Pac-In Time. This is a Pac-Man and kind of a platformer puzzler type uh, deal. Go Go Tank. You're basically this uh, cartoonish looking uh, helicopter who's uh, escorting this cartoonish looking tank and there are different missions you have to go through and what you gotta do is you use the little uh, line on the back of the uh, plane or the helicopter, no actually it's a plane but there's a bit tow line and what you do is there are a bunch of blocks that are blocking the tank and you use that tow line to move the blocks out of the way of the tank and you gotta do this in a timely manner and get him to the end of the screen 
before uh, you run out of uh, gas. But it's, it's pretty interesting so far. It's, it's uh, pretty neat. The, the, the music is freaking outstanding. I love the music in this game. And the graphics are cartoony, and they're fun, but it's an original game. And it's fun, kind of a puzzler-type shooter-type game, but, you know. Roland's Curse. This is, a, I think, a spin-off of Castle of... No, of Ghosts and Goblins. But it's not a side-scroller. It's a top-down type game, and it's kind of an RPG type game. I don't know if you uh, increase levels or whatnot, but you do collect uh, different weapons. And uh, the graphics are kind of cartoony. And, uh, I don't know, it just, the controls don't feel as tight as they should be. Uh, apparently there's, it's sold enough to make a sequel, which I'll probably buy in the near future, so, there's that. Okay, now, last but not least, my PS Vita games that I bought this month. Okay, I just bought this yesterday. Lego Ninjango Nindroids. And I like the Ninjago games. The controls can be a little bit tighter. I haven't played this one yet. But uh, they're, they're pretty interesting. Pretty good RPG type games. Uh, I like them. I like... Uh, that's, that's based on the first five episodes of the TV show, apparently. And I haven't watched that, you know. But, uh, oh well. X-Blaze. Code Embryo. This is apparently a... Uh, kind of a graphic story that you make certain decisions as to where the story would go. I don't know if there's any actual real gameplay to it, but uh, if there's enough decision making in there by the player, it might be a great game, but uh, I haven't played it yet. I'm afraid to. I'm afraid it'll be just nothing but blah, 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 which kind of gets on my nerves, uh, but we'll see. And uh, it's based on the X-Blaze uh, no, excuse me, it's based on the Blast Blue series, the fighters. And these are the characters that are in the Blast Blue series. Okay, now for probably my favorite game of the month. And it's a beautiful game. Uh, for some reason, they haven't made a physical copy for the United States, even though it was made in Montreal, or designed at least, in Montreal, Canada, uh, from Ubisoft. But it's been that you can download it. And, it's, and this one comes with the physical copy and a lot of the DLCs. Uh, Child of Light. This is an RPG. And you basically play this little red-haired princess who uh, ends up in a coma for some reason. And she ends up in this magical world. And she has to t take care of some tasks in this magical world to get back home to her family. And uh, the graphics are hand-drawn. Some of the most beautiful graphics I've ever seen on a video game. Uh, I love the battle system on here. It's an RPG type battle system where you're kind of taking turns, but if you cast your spells and you cast your uh, attacks at the right time on a timeline, you can interrupt your enemies from casting their attacks and their magic. And uh, they, can, they can also interrupt you if you're not careful. It's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of something you have to see. But uh, it, it's just a, it, it's a, that's one thing I love about this game. It's there, there's no random enemies. There are enemies that you can run into kind of easily, but a lot of times, more often than not, you can avoid them. And I was afraid at first that it would be a little too easy, but it's not easy. It's, it's, it gets tougher as the game goes on. But uh, just a beautiful game, a great battle system. I love unique battle systems among RPGs. I hate that, uh, all right, here's a list. Attack, magic, run, defend, heal. And uh, that's it, you know. Uh, and then the monster makes his decision, and it goes back and forth like that. That kind of gets old after a while. But uh, this one, and they do have that kind of decision. Those are the kind of decisions you have to make. But they do it in a way to where you have to think about it. And uh, you have to use some strategy and some thought. And it's just it's an excellent, excellent game. Uh, I would love to see a sequel to it. It's a beautiful game. They say it's kind of short, though. But you know what? I don't mind if a game's short if it's, as long as it's engaging. Haven't really played it all the way through, but I plan to. And that's uh, Child of Light. Probably my favorite game of the month. Anyway, uh, those are my uh, pickups for the month of uh, July. 
Uh, I've only got like I only got 18 games, which is quite a lot, probably more than I should have. But most of the games I buy are cheap anyway. Anyway, I hope to hear from you guys soon, and I hope to make some more videos. In the meantime, you guys have a great August, and uh, God bless you. Bye bye.